Good day folks, I'd like to talk to you about the possibilities of using a Bedini motor with an electrostatic disc instead of the fan blade for a self-running configuration. Now I thought of this a while back, but I didn't actually do the math, I just thought of it real quick and said, you know what, what if we use an electrostatic disc instead of a fan blade since if you, we all know Bedini motors, when you load it with a blade, it actually increases the efficiency. And a pretty big Bedini motor, if you saw the energy from the vacuum documentaries, it takes about 100 amps to operate this motor and the fan blade spins. Now, instead of spinning a fan blade, we can spin an electrostatic disc. This easily generates within a few fractions of a second if you've got the Leyden jars the capacitors, the high voltage capacitors, you get like 150,000 volts like instantly and it's, it's a kind of generation where it doesn't actually create an extra mechanical load so you could get that electrostatic for free now what you can do is you use a regular capacitor like a 250 volts 100 UF capacitor and we can charge that with the electrostatic now with an SCR cap dump circuit where we would use a neon, let's say, to trigger at around 100 volts, our capacitor won't reach the breakdown voltage, so it will keep it safe. So, I decided to calculate here the worst case scenario, let's say we get, you know, one click every two seconds. So, basically, here's the input. So, we're assuming 12 volts with a 100 milliamp input. That equals, according to Ohm's law, 1.2 watts. Now taking a look at the electrostatic cap dump, should we introduce such a system, we'll be using a 100 UF capacitor, here's the frequency, and we want to calculate the energy here, so I calculate the energy, and this shows up 5 joules. Now what happens here to calculate the power, because we're pulsing it, we have to divide it, and this gives us 2.5 watts output from the capacitor dump circuit. Now, with an input of 1.2 watts, folks, and an output of 2.5 watts, and this is, the, this is the worst case scenario, we should really explore this possibility to introduce a new energy system for free, which would then allow us much more easily to achieve the self-running conditions for the Bedini motor. Now, you may think, okay, maybe the adapting a wheel to an electrostatic motor is, um, well, disks might be complicated. There's another way of doing it. You can take the Bedini motor's output, the back EMF output, you isolate it with an isolation transformer, so let's say 10 turns ratio on each side, and on the other side of it you put a regular rectifier circuit with a small capacitor. That powers a small electrostatic, you can buy them on eBay literally for a few dollars, like a 150 volt, uh, 1000 volts electrostatic generator. They're solid state, they're basically flyback generators or their own little module. They run off literally 1.5 volt batteries. So again, if you know how the Bedini back EMF system works, you could actually short out both cables and the motor speeds up. So um, what I'm getting at is the extra load from our high voltage pulse circuit will act very similar to adding an electrostatic wheel and that could supply your capacitor circuit, which will dump every time it reaches near 100 volts. So one way or the other, um, using a high voltage in the capacitor dump, either you want to provide it through the mechanical wheel or through a high voltage circuit, you could power it from the output of the Bedini motor. So I hope you enjoy and let me know what you think in the comments. Just thought I'd uh, share the information with you, something worthwhile looking into because um, according to the math, um, if I could get this much, I will do it, definitely.